the last video, what we discussed was how to establish your business name to vet that idea, to do some research, and to make sure that that's the name that you are gonna use going forward. So I'm gonna assume for the purposes of this video that you're gonna get a check in the done mark for homework and hopefully straight A's. This video, what I'm gonna talk about is setting up your website for near free, basically, so that you can kind of have a placeholder and a place to start building out your links and your ideas. Now, you can do what I did, which was spend obscene amounts of money on a website um, for 10 years and deal with designers and coders and just open source platforms and all of the drama that comes along with that. Or you can do what I will be doing going forward, which is that you can set up a blog and make it look like a website which means that you will have full control. So this is what I recommend, not only to you if you have the means to pay for a website, but of course if you do not. So, you know, some advantages of having control over your website are price, um, information can be made available to your customers very quickly. There's nothing lost in translation when you're talking to your designers who then in turn have to take what you've told them and and turn it into something and get it onto your website in a timely fashion. When you do things the way that I'm gonna discuss, you will have the ability to log in, write what you need to write, upload pictures, and move on with your life. Now, that said, nvtan.com in its heyday, before the, you know, let's call it the disappearing act of 2014 at the very end there, was a several hundred page website that was operating on a Magento platform and it had so many plugins and apps and fancy bells and whistles. And you know, here's the, the bottom line, the truth. When I first started this company way back when, um, you know, myself and another person wrote the code for the very simple website that existed. It was just HTML code and it was written um, I don't know, in probably 2002 or 2003. And there was nothing fancy or super fantastic about it, but at the end of the day, it got the sales done and it was doing the job. We didn't have any problems. When we switched to this Magento platform and brought in all these developers, we had nothing but a string of headaches and technical issues. I'm not slamming Magento, so feel free if you work for Magento or you love your Magento website, I mean, feel free to leave it. I'm always open to hearing those kinds of things and hearing other people's experiences, but in my experience, it was not a good investment of time or money. So that said, moving on, I will be talking about a way to do something in your own way for basically no money and you don't need any special skills to do this except, you know, some fingers to type on a keyboard. And I'll assume if you're watching me, you probably have both of those. Now, you have lots of different blogging platforms that you can choose from. Um, Tumblr, there are 500 of them probably. But the one that I use is WordPress. Now, the reason I use WordPress is because, quite frankly, it works. At the end of the day, if someone asks me why do I use one thing over another, you can always be sure that it's because it is the most effective tool for the price that I'm willing to pay. What I would recommend doing is now that you have that name, you wanna go to WordPress, and I'll put a link in the description box below, and you want to secure the blog name for your chosen business name. Now, that is not gonna cost you anything at all, um, but you are gonna have to use whatever email address you currently have. So go ahead and do that. Let's say that your personal email address is, you know, whatever, I'm looking at my, um, what is that thing over there? You know, Cuisinart2015 at yahoo.com. Just go ahead and use that as your sign up email because you can change that as you go forward. Let's say that you were going to set up a NVTAN blog. We're gonna use that in this example. So you would go to the WordPress site and you would, you know, click sign up, register, whatever it says. And then when it says blog name, you would put NVTAN and then you use your email address and go ahead and sign up. Once you do that, it's usually gonna ask you to confirm it by email. Do not forget this step. So just go ahead right now and go on over to your email, whatever email address that you just entered, and 
you want to go ahead and confirm it because then that way, you know, you're going to have access to your account. I would always recommend to anyone, and I have, of course, um, for any business that I'm working on, that notebook that I was talking about yesterday, you know, in the back, in the middle, wherever you think you can um, hide it. You, know, you want to have a page or two where you keep all of your login information because nothing will stop you from logging into your social media or blog or reseller or whatever accounts faster than thinking, ugh, I do not know what the password is. Just write it down on a page that you have access to that you can just kind of flip to real quick and go, oh, okay, that's what it is. After you have confirmed your email address, then the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is buy a domain name. You just, you need to take care of that. Now, I have a reseller account that I've had for, I don't even know how many years because we had so many spray tanning artists that wanted us to build websites for them that it just seemed like a good idea. So if you wanna use my link, go crazy. It's smallbusinessdomainsandhosting.com. Um, not short, but keyword effective. So that's smallbusinessdomainsandhosting.com. Basically, it's just GoDaddy, but it has my cover page on it. So you'll have all the service, customer service, and all those wonderful bells and whistles that you get with GoDaddy. And yes, I recommend GoDaddy. I know there are loads of other places that you can register a name, but I probably own a little over a thousand domain names and every single one of them is going through GoDaddy. And there's a reason for that. To be detailed in another video if necessary. Um, you're gonna have to spend a little bit of money on your idea. I mean, that's just a matter, that's just a fact of doing business. You're gonna go there and you are going to buy the, now, if you're me, <laughs> you're gonna buy the .com, .org, and .net. Why are you gonna do that? Well, this is pretty simple because what happens is if you have a business that down the road becomes successful or popular, someone in their infinite wisdom will decide, you know what's easier than building a business of my own? riding on the coattails of this other person. So let me build a website and trick consumers into believing that they're on this other company's website. If you're me, you are going to purchase .com, .org, and .net. Why? Because if you don't, someone else will. Somebody else is gonna buy that name and try to direct traffic to their site and not yours. If you're on a really tight budget and you just wanna buy that one domain name, go for it. But keep it in the back of your mind that as this business idea picks up speed and momentum, you need to go back. So set a calendar reminder, three months, six months, you know, let me, let me go back in and buy .org, .net, .info. And my advice is if you own a domain name which could be misspelled, so let's use um, Friendly Dog from the other day, okay? So let's say that you purchase FriendlyDog.com, .org, .net, .info. Now, most people know how to spell the word friendly, but a lot of people, including myself, actually, it's one of the words that really trips me out. Um, not trips me out, trips me up. It does kind of trip me out that it does trip me up, but F-R-I-E-N-D-L-Y friendly, okay? But a lot of people are gonna spell it F-R-E-I-N-D-L-Y. Now, you may think that is the silliest thing that you've ever heard, but what you wanna ask yourself is, if someone misspells my domain name, do I want them to find me? And if the answer to that question is yes, you better buy that domain name too.